Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Today we are going to do our next lab the title of which is common collector amplifier This lab is the last in the series of uh, different biasing techniques for the amplifier After this we will follow with multi-stage amplifier and other such labs So we have already covered common base amplifier as well as common Amateur amplifier. Last week we saw common amateur amplifier. Today we are going to cover common collector amplifier and the circuit of which is shown here. So, what you have is the input and output is taken across collector. So, the collector is common in between input and output. So, this is the basic circuit for the, the common collector amplifier. So, after you have done the DC biasing of your amplifier. You have your input that is taken here and the output is taken here. So common collector amplifier is also known as amateur sorry amateur follower. So there are two names for this configuration. It is called common collector as well as amateur follower. The reason why it is called amateur follower is because when you just connect your NPN transistor in collector follower mode like this. So basically there is no RC. There is no collector resistance in this this biasing. So you have taken plus VCC here. You have a load resistor, emitter resistor here, and you take output here. V out, and your base is connected through a base resistor to a DC battery. V in whatever its value is. So let's take it a uh, varying as a varying input. So we will move the input from zero up up towards eight volt and see why it is called emitter follower. So if you will implement this on the hardware or on your multi sim, you will see that as V in is being varied, output tends to follow the input so when you have zero volt the output is also zero volt the reason uh, and again then we increase the input to 0 0.5 volt this is the input the output is still zero volt the reason why it is still zero volt is because you know that in a simple npn transistor so this is base and emitter the internal voltage of any NP junction is 0.7 volt. So until and unless this voltage is achieved, no current flows. So at 0.5 volt also, what happens? It's zero volt. But when it is one one volt, the output becomes 0.3 volt. So you just take the one minus 0.7 volt. This potential difference is uh, subtractor and you get the output again for 1.5 volt you get 0.8 volt for 2 volt we have 1.3 volt and for 5 volt we have 4.3 volt and likewise you just increase this these values and you get the output so for every change in the input for example here we have 0.5 volt change the output is of the same value that is there is a change of 0.5 volt here as well same here 3 volt difference the output follows the same 3 volt difference so that's why it's called emitter follower
so today's lab is about finding two things as we did in the last lab there's a voltage gain av and the second thing is phase difference which you have to find between input and output the third thing is also mentioned in your manuals is input impedance and output impedance so this is basically there is a method that is written there you need to have a potentiometer for that i hope you can find it in multisim a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer and with the help of that there are simple instructions that are written in the experiment by following that you can find easily z in and z out input and output impedance but the two things that we are going to focus on is voltage gain and phase difference now here i should mention that in common collector amplifier so here when we saw how it is following the emitter whatever is the whatever is the uh, input voltage is following the input voltage but that is not that much true uh, in the case of when you apply AC uh, and by that I mean that there is no 0.7 difference even in that case so you you need to see uh, whatever what is the output value with respect to the input value so when you will perform this experiment you have to find out the V out and you have to divide it by V in because you know A V is equal to V out divided by V in and see for yourself what is the voltage gain so you will find that A V is close to 1 that is there is no not much or there is no voltage gain or no amplification then why it is called amplifier it is because this type of configuration is used for current amplification earlier too we saw one of them was also amplifying the voltage and also inverting it the second one was just amplifying the voltage current was same but in this one voltage is not being amplified but the current is amplified and that you have to see for yourself how much is the amplification of the current but still you have to find AV that should be closer to 1 and again for the phase difference it is easy for the last in the last time I told you the formula for the phase difference so theta is equal to delta t divided by t multiply by 360 which can be written as delta t multiplied by frequency multiplied by 360 so whatever frequency of input you are given if it is 1000 you can put it 1000 if it is 50 you can put it 50 and use that in formula what is delta t is the time difference or the phase difference uh, the time difference between the two waveforms so that is the uh, you have an oscilloscope you will have two different outputs here so you just have to see where the two peaks occur and the difference between the two sorry this this difference between the two peaks will be delta t that you can easily find through the multi sense oscilloscope feature so this is the basic configuration common collector you have to open your multi sim see the circuit from your lab manual i hope that will work if not there are so many other circuits for common collector amplifiers so i will recommend you guys to use the one from the lab you just have to import different components as written in the lab in insert uh, the function generator also insert the oscilloscope 
and in addition you have to use multimeter or ammeter for input and output you because you have also need to see what is the value of current is at input and output as well so you will see that voltages would be more or less same but the currents uh, are not same the current gets amplified at the output so just by implementing you have to run the circuit and see the outputs and calculate them these are the two basic things that you have to find out voltage gain and phase difference additional things that you will find out is current amplifying uh, value how much the current amplifies as well as input and output impedance thank you